Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I finally changed my calendar. I'm not sure if you guys noticed in the past few videos that I've filmed right here, it said April. So I like, I had to get my life together, so I had to change my calendar. <laughs> I really don't use it, but I'm going to try to start using it now, so I switched it. So, um, anyways, today's video I've been actually wanting to do for a while now, and it's a story time of the time that I actually got engaged when I was 15. So let me start off with the story. I was dating this guy. I have done about two story times about him before, and in the last story times, I've called him Barry, aka the one that cheated on me in the beginning of our relationship. That's him, so I wouldn't change up the names and get you guys confused. I'm gonna call him Barry in this video too. I know Barry is a strange name, but I feel like it's kind of funny. So Barry and I started dating when we were 14. We actually knew each other since 5th grade, and then I had this huge crush on him um, 7th and 8th grade, and then we actually started dating the summer before 9th grade started. So that's when we really started talking. So I didn't tell my parents about him until we were together for 4 months, because I usually don't do that, like as long as I'm with someone for a few months, then I go ahead and tell my parents. So we were together for four months. And like my mom, she really liked them. My dad, he didn't really care. But um, yeah, so for my 15th birthday, my mom said that she would pay for me and Barry to, I almost said his real name, for me and Barry to go to Disneyland for my birthday. So we planned out to go to Disneyland. So he was still 14 because I'm a month older than him. And that day I was turning 15 and Jessica was 17. So the three of us would hang out here and there and my mom said that Jessica could come to Disneyland with us. So the three of us went. So Barry and I were really into like this creepy like spooky stuff. So we were like hyped up to go to the Haunted Mansion. Even though we know it's not scary but like it's something that we really wanted to do and it's a ride that we really liked. There was a long line so we were like you know what let's go to like different rides or let's go to gift shops and we'll come back to this ride later. So that's what we did. And back then I was like obsessed like I swear I was obsessed with Jack Skellington, but that comes in a little bit from this video. So like, everything in my room, everything I had, just like, everything of mine was Jack Skellington. But I had to get rid of it all. That's gonna be another story time. Anyways, the point is that I was obsessed with him. We started walking around the gift shops, and he said, Oh, I'm gonna go buy something, you stay here and look at this stuff. So I was like, hmm, okay. So Jessica and I started walking around while he went to go pay whatever he was getting. So he ended up not showing me what he bought. So a few minutes later, we're just like, okay, let's go back to the Haunted Mansion. So we go, we wait in line, and um, we get onto the ride. And there's like these big black seats. They're kind of shaped like an egg, but there's like this piece cut off, and then you like put the thing over you so that you can hold yourself or whatever. It's like this really slow, um, it's kind of like a, what's it called? I forget the word, but anyways, it just goes really slow and you can see everything that's in the mansion. It's actually pretty cool. The seats fit three people, so it was Jessica, me, and Barry. I almost said his real name again. Anyways, the three of us were sitting there and, you know, we're like on the ride enjoying it. And we're like, oh, look at that, look at that. Like, it was just like a really cool ride. Like, I really like that ride. So, in the middle of the ride, he grabs my face. Like, he, he like grabs my face and he turns it to him. I felt super claustrophobic because like we're like all squished in the sea and it was like really dark in there and there was just so much going on and we're like shoulder to shoulder and he kind of just like goes and grabs my face and turns it and he's like will you be my wife right and I'm just like whoa and I don't know I just felt super claustrophobic because we were shoulder to shoulder and it was just like dark and then he like grabs my face and I felt claustrophobic and stuff but I was still enjoying the ride so like we're on the ride and I'm like thinking about it I'm like did you really just ask me that and so we're like on the ride and whatever we get off the ride and we're like in the line for a different ride and he was like so you never answered my question well and I'm like oh sure yeah I guess and but like I don't know it was it was in a, like a rude way, it was like, you know, I said yeah, and then he gave me this Jack Skellington ring that he bought at the gift shop. Um, I don't have it anymore because like I said, I had to get rid of all my stuff, but um, I'll try to find a picture of the ring online and I'll insert it here. So yeah, I put on the ring, I think it was on the wrong finger too, but yeah, he was still 14 and I was 15, I guess we were like engaged. And then I told him afterwards, I was like, you know, you made me feel super claustrophobic during that ride. Yeah, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. Like it didn't feel like like a proposal and I didn't expect it to because like, you know, I was only 15, like I just turned 15 that day. I think the ring was like $15 or something too. Anyways, after I told him that, he was like, oh, don't worry, this is more like a promise ring and I'm going to um, 
and I'm gonna propose to you again in like a few years. And I'm like, wait, if you're gonna propose again, why'd you propose now? And he was like, I don't know, I just felt like it. So I don't know, I guess it was just like the day that how it was like my birthday and we we're at Disneyland and he found a ring. And yeah, I mean, it was cute, it was pretty sweet, but like, we were really young. Like right now, I'm 18 and I don't think I'd even want to get engaged right now. Um, but yeah, update of me and Barry. Um, at that point, we were together for September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. We were together for nine months. So it wasn't like in the beginning of a relationship, but that was also very soon. We ended up going out for three years and we, we like called off the engagement. You know, we just kept dating. So um, I actually have a few more stories that involve him. So if you guys want to know the stories, then let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up and I'll know to do the video. But yeah, that's the story about the time when I was engaged at 15. Don't forget to check the links in the description, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and always remember to stay jazzy.